Oh yeah, oh yeah. There by the defense, the holding penalty call. Five yards on the pickup. All right, sorry about that. This is the second half. After the penalty, it's Miller. And tough going there as he'll only get it up to about the 31. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. The best defensive lineman. They play with great leverage so they can get low and not get bowled over by offensive linemen. They have excellent hands. They can throw people off on a play. We just saw a great example of a really good run stop by a guy playing the defense. I think that's the first down. Third and inches. Pick up on the play, and that's going to make it third down and less than a yard. When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you got to be really careful as a passer about how far. It's like right fucking there. Because he might wander into some tough coverage. They'll run for it here. This is Prosh, the fullback. And he's going to have a first down as he's brought down at the 44-yard line. Third and inches, just turn around, hand it to the big guy, and let him plow forward and pick up a first down. A lot of people think that the offensive line, they may almost take the play off because they got a big guy back there pushing forward. I think it actually works in reverse. I think they block harder because they love seeing that guy get the ball because he doesn't touch it very often. And that looked like some pretty easy yardage there right up the gun. And he's a guy that has some height. I wasn't actually trying to call that play, honestly. Shoulder or create or get through contact or trash. It makes it a lot easier to stay upright, see the field, and make a run as we just saw there. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. And as these numbers show, last week, great game. This week, not the case. And sometimes it's not just as simple as throwing the football. It's the rhythm of the game, managing it, being in sync with your teammates. Last week, everything was coming together really well. We're not seeing that so far in this one. No, unfortunately not. Hey, we got the first. That's all that matters. It's the first down yardage before they bring him down right at the 45. And while it didn't work very well on that play, Defenders on third and short know it's going to be a quick read. And really, the quarterback's just going to turn around and hand it off. So that way, you're able to diagnose the play and try and get to the point of attack. But when you're dealing with a fullback... Kenny! He was trying to get that one to Kenny Stills. And now it's second down. That was a classic example of trying to run with the ball without securing the catch. He was thinking about those rack yards instead of making the catch first and then taking off. On second down, here's Miller. And some room to maneuver. And he's going there we to go. inside the 30. Finally, some positive freaking yards. yards. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that... Oh, damn. We had DeAndre Hopkins wide open. And I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. I'm just one big... I'm telling you, if KJ Wright wasn't there, dude... There you go, CJ. Get the first. Give him five yards there, and it's enough for the first. And Brandon, from our time in college football, where receivers weren't running the traditional NFL route tree, one thing they did learn, find open areas, find soft spots, and set up and catch the ball. Two-yard pickup. That's fine by me. There we go. Pick up nine. Kenny steals. Because you have the ball and they don't. And often the physicality sets the tempo for the game. Simple slant route and part of a really nice hard throw by the quarterback. Nice timing between the quarterback and the receiver. They were perfectly in sync and he put it right on him on the inside. Two yard pickup. Only a yard on the pickup there. Second and goal. Be interesting to see now what they do offensively down near the goal line after not much there that time. As the offensive play caller, that may change your sequence now. Instead of coming right back with a running play, you may have to go to the air. And from the three now, it's second and goal. Ah, maybe if I were to cut back inside, maybe I would have gone there. His path became similar to almost running a stretch play, didn't it? Trying to 
find a crease, anywhere to put his foot in the ground and cut back, it just never materialized. This defense hasn't let him in yet. They'll need to stiffen here. Third and goal from the two. Patty now. Yeah, Alfred! If he holds on, instead it's fourth down. After all the preparation, all the practice, a play like that will absolutely break your heart. They had everything they wanted, just unable to complete it in the end zone. I should get the... Oh, Alfred. So it's an old school extra point, but certainly a disappointment that they couldn't get six. Yeah, when you see 19-yard field goal in the box score, you kind of shake your head. But their head coach decided three was enough. This will be taken in at the one. Treads the tackle. And not a bad return. Here he gets it out to the two. Alfred. Dude. The Texans defense heading back out now, ready to get their cracks again. They got the stop last time that resulted in a punt, and then it resulted in three for their offense. And this is one time where the defense won't get credit for creating points, but that's exactly what they did. All right, forced them into a punt, turned it over to their offense. Marcus Ware was actually supposed to be guarding him. Mismatches, and they're trying to create one there, getting it to their back out of the backfield to make a bigger play. As we often say, get it to him in space, and let him use his leg. Yeah, there you go, Jadavion. Up against a linebacker, or maybe a defensive end dropping out in a zone blitz, he's going to win that battle just about every time. See if they stay on the ground for second down. That was a really nice play. He's able to stack that one up. When they get back in the huddle, he's got to he's got to tell his guys up front. Great job. They kept people off of him. Allowed him. To got him. Let's go. Thirty tackles for Whitney Merciless. Whitney Merciless. And as a defensive end, getting off the ball quickly, swarming to the football, making a tackle. That's what we saw right there. Yeah, that's what their job is. And really, a lot of the time, they have to throttle back a little bit in the run game because you know those defensive ends are like in a sprinter stance. They're just oh, he over. The yeah, there we go. That was good recognition Oof. of that play to hold him to no gain. Here's John Ryan now. He's been terrific so far. Hey, the Broncos are beating the Chiefs now. Averaging over 50 yards of punt so far. No, I'm going to get this past the 20. Oh, he's going to go ahead and field it from the three-yard line. A good return there. Call it 13 yards. And oh, I got it to the 16. And time now for the Just in case they were going to screw us. Anyways. I got his back to lead. I've scored all of our points. Every single one of them. All 14. Alright. I've given up six. Oh my goodness. Brian Cushing gets him. They bring him down to the sack back at the 16 yard line. Brian Cushing leading the surge there. He drops him for a loss of six. Well, that was point counterpoint, wasn't it? They decide to throw for it on first and goal. Instead, the defense counters with pressure, and the defense wins, getting a big sack. Rawls, the lone man in the backfield. Second and goal. Defense digging in again. Here. Oh my god, he beat me. Fuck. There we go. Incomplete. So they went for the two. They don't get it. Protection was great. He had time to set up a campsite. But in the secondary, though, they were ready. And I think that in most places on the field, if you have that much time to throw the ball, someone's going to shake free and you'll find an open receiver. Yeah, we're not running the ball anymore. Near the goal line on a two-point conversion. I believed in you, man. I don't know what happened. Corey Coleman beats Richard Sherman. Touchdown. Corey 
Corey Coleman with a lucky number 13 touchdowns. Corey Coleman. What a pass to but to, by Bryce Petty. 436 passing touchdown in the season. Beats Richard Sherman off the press. Wow. Obviously, we probably would have scored more points, but they were fucking us at the end there. Lamar Miller, two, puts us up by three. Got him. Let's go. Thank you, Carlos. All right, that was your guys' turn. No, he ran my guy smooth over, but thankfully only seven. Damn. 29-10. That is wild to me. Winnie Mercer's got him this time. It's third and one now. Oh, Jadavion Clowney missed him. Damn, that would have been a stop right there if Jadavion Clowney got to him. But now it's first and ten on their 45-yard line. We're up by three. Oh, J.J. Watt just blew up Thomas Wallace right there. Let's go. And now Whitney Merciless gets him. Well, granted, he got four yards, but... And the Texans have an extra defender in the secondary now on third down. And that's going to end the third. Quarter here in week. Back now in Seattle, Washington. It's been a very hotly contested game to this point. Just a field goal separating these two teams as we get set for the fourth quarter. On third down, Wilson. Being chased. What a pass. That was a beautiful pass. I can't even be mad. I mean, I can be mad, but that. One of the feature points of the in route is being able to make a nice throw to the middle part of the field. And for a quarterback, that's one of the Damn. throws and better looks that he'll get. But he Damn. Be careful not to wait too long and let his receiver wander into some tough territory. That's that would have been huge. Now they have a chance to take the lead here. He's already proven to be a factor in the running game on this drive. Now he gets involved in the passing game. I think what we're seeing here is the modern version of workhorse. Oh, almost picked off. Jonathan Joseph. Almost got him. Would have been a big, big turnover here. Well, we're not playing three yards in the cloud of dust football anymore. I got to get why those old school coaches sometimes didn't want to throw the football. Because if it's popped up in the air. Oh, what a, what a tackle by Whitney Merciless. Starting 11 now. And they're going to stop him just short here. Are they going to take the field goal here, or are they going to try to go for it on fourth and two? They're going to they're just going to take the field goal. He's been blocked. T.A.T. has been blocked. But he takes it, makes it 22 apiece. No, he's been called twice. All right, this is that was the second time. Oh, what a what a run! Thirty-three yards to the thirty-three yard line, Lamar Miller. Good for you. Anyways, let's let's get this done. 
Like, I gave up a touchdown. But... Oh, what a pass to CJ. 12-yard no pickup. Bryce Petty is coming into the Seattle Seahawks team. I mean, to the team. To hit to this to this field and taking over. Bryce Petty drops back to pass one more time. He's going to get... Oh, no, he throws the ball off. Oh, what a... What, what pocket recognition by Bryce Petty. I thought he was going to get sacked. I thought that brother was going to be tackled for loss. Wait, wasn't it my turn? Whatever. Here's Patty. Bryce. Seahawks gets to him and they bring him down. Bryce. Reed, in there to make the sack. He buries him for a loss of 10. And I know it seems like we say this a lot in broadcast booths, but a quarterback can hold on to the football too long in these situations. I think he did right there. Oh, I agree with you totally. So oh. To understand situations. Get rid of the football. Bryce. Save some yardage to make it less to gain for the next down. Instead, he was so hipped on ball security, he held on to it and took a big sack. Oh, what a punt. All the way to the four. Seth Lieber. Now oh, we're blitzing here. Brian Cushing just levels Thomas Rawls again. I'm hoping that he fumbles. I feel like I feel like that's something that should happen. Like he fumbles. Like if I got hit like that, I'm fumbling. Actually, matter of fact, Lamar Miller did get hit like that. And he fumbled. I call a blitz and they pick it up perfectly. Third Kevin Johnson never even looked at the ball. Kareem Jackson gets him. Thank you. You light up the eyes of an offensive coordinator, don't you? That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. Well, on that play, the expression, don't blink, you might miss something, certainly applied. That was fast. Defense diagnosed the play, and it was over in a heartbeat. I knew someone was going to come open on that. Now it's third down. 
So they're behind the chains as the offense. 12 yards needed on third down. From the gun on third down, Wilson. He's going to find his get him. back. It's complete. Thank you. And certainly some style points there on the spin. Not a whole lot thereafter, but still a pretty good game. Here's John Ryan now. As he's for the fifth time here today. Partner, I think that completion takes the definition of dink and dunk to a different level, doesn't it? It does, and the defense was right there, kind of played into their hands. And the kicks away as he angles this one for the sideline. And now out comes Houston. And last time out, they had to punt the football away. Anything positive possibly to take from that? There always is when, when you're punting the football away. Ooh. It doesn't sound like it because you're giving it up. But you've avoided a mistake. At least you didn't turn it you over, You didn't I turn guess. it over, right? You're giving, it, you're giving your defense a chance because you're punting the ball away and they're set to go on the field as opposed to sudden change after a turnover. Wow, now we gotta go out there and stop people. So yeah, there's always something Bob's if he gained from it. Patty now. Dumps it complete to Miller. They call it a gain of 19. There we go. And it moves the chains. So many times you hear today's NFL described as a space game. Get your best players into space with the football in their hands. That's why sometimes you just swing it out to your runner, get him out in the flat, and let him have a chance to make people miss an open field. Here's Patty. Underneath for Miller. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. It's a gain of nine yards. And it'll be second and about a yard to go for the first. Just one yard to go here on second down. So many times you hear today's NFL described as a space game. Get your best players into space with the football in their hands. That's why sometimes you just swing it there we go. the runner, get him out in the flat, and let him have a chance to make people miss an open field. Second and one is often an invitation to take the big shot downfield. I'll bet the offensive lineman said, are you kidding? We just get on our backs and let's go get the first down. They love being physical. He'll look to throw. This will be caught at the two. DeAndre Hopkins. Career touchdown number 50. And he puts us up by six. With touchdown number two in the game and now 11 on the year. And the Texans have broken the tie. I know we often laugh and sometimes we even exalt the guys who are great trash talkers and give us some really funny lines. But the bottom line is absolute production on the field. His second touchdown of the game and they lead. Bryce Petty. He's played a flawless game. Three passing touchdowns for the boy. Shit. So they need they need a touchdown here. Essentially. Seattle now ready to march out of the field. And they had a long drive going last time, but it stalled out. But still maybe something positive to carry forward from that last All right, come on. Jimmy Graham only picks up two there. Vanette gets a two minute warning, but he's already picked up 10. As the dog wants to come back inside for whatever reason. 157 remaining in the second quarter. They're on our 40 yard, I mean, their 40 yard line. An interception here will all but seal it. Seal it. But considering it's Russell Wilson, I only pick up a six there, but they're going to call a no huddle. Jermaine Kearse, 104 yards already. And Tyler Lockett goes crazy there. KJ Dillon. And he'll be brought down inside the 20 at the 19. They'll give him eight on the play, and that'll bring up second down. And the offense moving quickly to the line. Back 
Oh, I don't know how he was able to catch that. Genevion Clowney Saxon. Loss of eight. And they're going to try to run. But they're tired. 43 seconds and counting. Second and 18. Russell Wilson drops back to pass. Pressured by JJ. Throws it away. 37 seconds left in the fourth. Third and 18 now on their on our 21 yard line. They're saying interception, but that's a sack. And Jadavion Clowney sacks him again. He spins right into Jadavion Clowney. Back to back sacks. And it's fourth and 28. 27 seconds left in the fourth. Single back formation for some reason. JJ Watt gets him. Back to back to back sacks lead us right there. Now, Russell Wilson. JJ Watt was going to get to him eventually. And that's sack number nine for JJ this season. And we're going to win 29-22. Let's run this clock out. Lamar Miller picks up a huge game. This is pretty much over. I don't know why they're calling timeout here. That's a 10-yard rush by Lamar Miller. And they're going to kneel it. As they should. I don't know why. Just let us win. Why are you doing this timeouts? You think it's going to fumble snap? You think you think Madden back then in 2016 was this like ahead of time? And the Houston Texans escape with a 29-22 victory over the Seattle Seahawks right here in FedEx Field. I believe that's what it's called in this time. And now they're going to go for it. This isn't fourth and inches. This is fourth and 14. Let's go. Bryce Petty played phenomenal. 307, three touchdowns, and the game winner. Lamar Miller played pretty well. Other than that damn fumble. DeAndre Hopkins, eight catches, 104 yards, two touchdowns. All in all, pretty good game. J.D. McClendon had two sacks. Seven sacks on Mr. Russell Wilson. Bryce Petty was on fire this game. Play turnover free football. I mean, Aaron Rodgers is probably going to win the award over him because of the amount of interceptions, but. What a, what a, what a season for Bryce Petty. Yeah, I don't see how Bryce Petty is going to be able to get there. Honestly. Oh, he's second in passing touchdowns. Was Aaron Rodgers first? Aaron Rodgers is first. Looks like I'm picking the 20th.
But yeah, like, comment, subscribe, guys. Do all those good things. And I'll catch everyone next one. Peace out.